G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be ranking all eight Big Bash teams. I'm in a real waffling mood today, so I feel like I might ramble a little bit in this video, which is okay though. It's okay. This is what uh, this is what the, <laughs> this is what the tier makers are all about. Also, just before we get into the video, I'm now on Cameo, guys. So if you would like to receive any personalised video messages, you can hit my Cameo link down below, and uh, yeah, I'll be doing a few of those over the next week or so. All right, gang. Let's start with the easy one. I am a Melbourne Stars supporter. Uh, the reason I go for the stars is because um, I used to follow the domestic comp quite closely. Um, I used to follow Victoria really closely. My favourite players were Cameron White, David Hussey. Yeah, I used to absolutely love the Victorian team. I used to go to all the games. They got Dwayne Bravo and a couple of internationals playing in the domestic comp for a couple of years just before it turned to the Big Bash. And I remember going to the record-breaking highest attendance ever. I think it was Victoria versus Queensland, potentially. But it was like a Saturday night and 40,000 people came out to it. And I think that's when they thought, yeah, they've got something in this domestic comp. We can turn it into something. So when the comp went from the domestic T20s to the big bash comp and rebranded and everything, a lot of my favourite Victorian players went to the stars over the Renegades. So Cameron White, Dave Hussey, I think Matty Wade, all these blokes who I love from Victoria went to the stars. You know, I'm a, I'm a massive D's fan and our home ground is the MCG and the stars was the MCG as well. And yeah, I don't know, I just, I love the MCG. I loved all the Victorian players. So I went for the Melbourne stars. Unfortunately, they haven't had much success. They've been very consistent over the, what, eight or nine big bash leagues making the finals pretty consistently, but they just choke. Last year was the worst. I was watching it last year going, surely this is the time they finally win their title. And they choked in ridiculous fashion to the Renegades. So hopefully this is our year. Pumped for this year's Big Bash to kick off, to see how Dale Stain and my little favorite player, little Sandeep, how he goes. But um, yeah, that's why the Stars are up the top and that's why they're my favorite team. All right, let's go down. Hobart Hurricanes, I would put comfortably second. I don't mind the Hurricanes, to be honest. Um, I love Clive Rose. <laughs> another, another little Victorian spin bowl that I used to love. Did he have dreadlocks or something last season? He had a bit of a whack haircut, I remember, but yeah, Clive Rose would have to be one of my favorite, yeah, my favorite players for the Hurricanes. James Faulkner was one of my favorite players for the Stars, but I don't mind seeing him down in the, uh, in the Hobart Hurricanes kit. Big fan of Matty Wade, big fan of Tommy Cooper. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, for some reason, you know, I, I love Bev, I love the way Bev reacts with the, the Hurricanes, so I, I've got a soft spot for him, I do like the Hobart Hurricanes. Adelaide Strikers, I'd probably put as a team that I like as well. I always found it exciting when Kieran Pollard would, would play for them. I think maybe Adelaide Oval brings the, like, obviously the fans, but that, that stadium is so cool to watch Big Bash games on. I remember Tim Ludeman taking one of the catches of the summer one year. Yeah, they've always had a great batting lineup with like Travis Head and Alex Carey and, and all these players. So I've just always had a bit of an affinity to the Adelaide Strikers. And um, yeah, I'd probably say they're my equal second favorite team. A couple of teams that I probably just don't have an opinion on. I'd have to say the Thunder. They were irrelevant for a few years. They were really, really awful and struggled to get many wins. And then I think they went from like the bottom one year to beating my team, the Stars, in a final the year later. So I don't I don't like their home ground. And I think there's something to it. Like there's not much of an atmosphere when it used to be at ANZ. So like you'd flick on a Sixers game and the SCG's packed and then you flick on a Thunder game and ANZ's just, I don't know, lacking that. ANZ's just lacking that atmosphere. Probably because they weren't as successful as the Sixers earlier on as well. But yeah, I don't know, the Thunder for me, they're probably just a middle team that I just don't really care about. I'd probably put the Brisbane Heat in that category as well. Yeah, it was fun watching the Heat when Chris Lynn was in form as well. Seeing him smack it out of the park um, was unbelievable. But yeah, I don't know, they're just a bit of a nothing team for mine. Um, I did like Ben Cutting though. He's, he was probably one of my favorite players for a little bit there, you know, quick, deadly fast bowler, but also could smack him out of the park as well when push comes to shove. So yeah, I don't love the heat, but I don't hate them and that's probably why they're just in the middle tier. Now the Scorchers I'll probably put in the C category, just um, 
probably a little bit envious of their success, to be fair. Probably the most, well, yeah, they are the most successful team in the Big Bash era. They had Justin Langer coaching them for a while, and he got the best out of the players. Adam Voges, is he still there? He's a gun. Yeah, the Scorchers, just always very successful, always up the top. Um, Michael Klinger, he used to play for Victoria and then maybe South Australia in the domestic comp, but he went to the Scorchers and I think he ended up getting in the Australian team because of how well he was performing for uh, the Scorchers in the Big Bash. So he played international T20 at like 33, 34, I reckon, just because of the form he was in. But yeah, a very successful franchise, the Scorchers. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I, I just don't like them, to be honest. I think, you know, uh, channel favorite Dutchy, it's one of his favorite teams. Um, one of my best mates growing up, who I used to play a lot of backyard cricket with Graham, he used to love the, the Perth team, and he, he was a Victorian, but he said he used to go for WA in like the domestic comp. So for some reason, I just don't like the Perth teams. And um, yeah, when the Scorchers came in, I think they had your Marcus North and your, your Marsh brothers, who I've never been fans of. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I just didn't really get around them. That's the reason I didn't really get around them. All right, the Sixers. The Sydney Sixers, probably in the D category as well. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'd, there's always that Melbourne-Sydney rivalry. Um, yeah, there's always that Melbourne-Sydney rivalry and um, I don't know, I just, for some reason, there's like, I don't really have an explanation for this, but when I watch the Sixers, I just, I want them to lose. Um, <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but yeah, if I just had to rank the teams, I think the Sixers would be last. Um, the kits aren't that great. And yeah, there's, there's no real players that I've ever really fully gotten around when they play for the Sixers. Besides like Brett Lee. Did Stewie McGill play for the Sixers? For a little bit? Maybe there are maybe there are a couple of players I did like from there, but yeah, for mine the Sixers are, are probably last. And then I would put Renegades last as well. Um, a lot of my mates go for the Renegades. They just remind me of that typical like Marvel Stadium AFL team. Like they for some reason, might be wrong, but the Renegades remind me of like a Bombers or a, or a Saints. Just, or yeah, just an annoying Marvel-based AFL team that just annoy you. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to anyone but myself, but yeah, I don't know. The Renegades, they always pinched the Stars players. They pinched Cam White. They pinched, I reckon, Finchy. Maybe Finchy's been there the whole time, but they pinched, yeah, a lot of the Stars players. Matty Wade went over there. Brad Hodge jumped ship for a couple of years so um, not to say that the stars haven't pinched you know Maxwell and a couple others but yeah Renegades never really liked him and that's why they're my least favorite anyway guys that was another video um, yeah really keen for the Big Bash season to kick off um, yeah, can't wait to watch some of the games. It's always that good sport that gets you over the summer, isn't it? The Big Bash, when that finally comes back on. So keen to rip in and watch a few games. Just a reminder, guys, that I am on Cameo. If you want any personalised video messages from myself, whether it be for Christmas, for a gift for someone, or you just want to receive one just for a laugh, you can hit my Cameo link down below. I'm going to take a little bit of a break over Chrissy and January. So... Um, I might preload a few videos in just to get us through, but I feel like a break is quite necessary just over the next few weeks. I will have a lot more information on that. It'll probably be in January, so I'll get through December and it'll probably be in January. But I'll take a little bit of a break, refresh the channel like I do most years, and I'll come back absolutely primed for 2020. But I will keep you all updated with the dates and the times of when this break will happen. But I am telling you for a bit of a, a gap off the tube. My eyes and my brain is fried from editing. Um, I want to upgrade some of my equipment. And um, yeah, I'm going to be moving house very soon with that. So just a couple of things that I've got to knock off. Uh, but yeah, get myself primed and ready for next year. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching another video. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.